I cannot make this up. Washed my truck yesterday because the weather channel said it wasn't gonna rain. And what does it do? It rains. <laughs> Classic. <coughs> Hour and a half later, we made it to Mark's house. Here we have Chris over here. He just bought a 2015 Duramax. It's his first diesel truck. So he's super excited. He's learning a lot about it. But that truck's got a lot done to it. Really good price too, from what I hear. Starters, we'll start with like suspension. It's got the BDS six and a half inch lift. Apparently they turned it up to about seven inches. So I'd be really curious to park this truck next to mine and see the size difference because this is, this actually sits pretty close to like my McGoy's lift kit on my previous truck. Yeah, this sits pretty tall, but as we can see, BDS lift, upgraded the control arms to Cognito, has the Fox 2.0 shocks, and Denali badging blacked out. We got the BMF wheels, also known as Soda. I'm guessing these are 20 by 10s and 37, 1250. I love those wheels. Can we pop the hood? Oh yeah. See what's under this truck. Man, this truck's tall. I don't know if I can see under the hood. Oh yeah, fully, it's got, it's tuned and deleted. And the best thing about this truck, it's a 2015, so it's an LML, but it's already got a CP3 conversion on it, which is a good thing, because the CP4s are known for going out, so having CP3 pump is a really good peace of mind. And that's a great looking truck. I still wish I would have kind of, in a way, bought this body style instead of the 2020. I love the 2020, but these look so good too. Looks like he's got a 10 inch Gen Y hitch. And check this out. It's a side ex exit, but what is this technically called? I can't close that. Whoop. Sorry about that. Whoa. Oh, that sounds good. Got some pre-runner style grill lights too, which I think these are made specifically for like these uh, Denali grills. Cause it fits really good. Maybe we can get Phil to retrofit the projectors on the inside because these headlight output is pretty bad. And maybe color match the inside. Which I still need to get Phil to do mine. So I need to take them apart or, or I need to take them out of the truck and then take it to Phil and have them do a whole bunch of color matching stuff but yeah this truck is stout I wanted to come check it out I was gonna say we should get Phil to color match the headlights yeah Phil will will uh, retrofit the projectors on the inside and make the output better it'll be there's so much out there for these trucks yeah new he's like man some of it's overwhelming oh yeah because I had a color I want to do I sent a little splash of color from the control arms. Yeah. Um, it's not a purple, it's like a violet yeah. kind of color. Um, Toe hooks. Yeah, I know. Match mine. That sounds good. I miss having an actual diesel. I'm driving mine. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm good. I mean, know, driving over here was a blast. Yeah. Just quiet, but every once in a while, I want to get on it. I want to hear the d a diesel exhaust. So then when he leaves and Amy hears that, ooh, yeah, I know. You don't miss that. Yeah. Kind of like. Oh, do color. that theme. That'd be cool. Let's see. Oh yeah, though. It's like a chameleon. Nice color on. 
and then these like that'd be cool the mats yeah yeah just a little bit all right let's go look at the lift kit the main reason why we're here today is mark's 2020 denali over here is finally ready to get it lifted so the, beginning. the mcgoy's lift kits have arrived so we're going to show you guys what all that lift kit consists of it, it took a while because of COVID. I mean, it's not just McGoy's, it's just lift kits in general. I think it took, what, four months? We were right at four yeah, months. Right yeah, right at four months. Yeah. But I mean, I waited like four months for my VDS lift too. COVID has really screwed everybody up, uh, especially manufacturers. All right, so here is McGoy's seven to nine inch lift. All the components, uh, he purchase all the components to set this at nine inches which includes like leveling keys uh, I think shock extenders and the shims in the back or shims in the back for uh, to set it at nine so first we have McGoy's reservoir shocks those are stout there you go finish on it are you gonna keep it black no, we're gonna we're gonna do a wrap on it. Oh, sick! I will reveal that when we start, you know, getting into it. Exactly. Deal. But yep, all that's gonna be wrapped full. This one and the reservoir. Yeah, so I mean, this build is gonna be legit. Mark's gonna color match literally everything. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good build. Mark's really meticulous when it comes to making sure everything is color matched and matches. Yeah, matchy. <laughs> We got that. We got. You know, let's see what's. There's the factory. We got some uh, stops. I might have some stuff for sale here pretty soon. Oh yeah, factory wheels and tires. So those are all shocks. These are all shocks. Ooh, look at that one. I saw something shiny in there. Billet face plates. That's for the traction bar, right? That's for the traction bar. What they wow, look there. at that. That's awesome. So that's the traction bar. So what they've done with this a new style, that plate, they've left room for it in the back here. So it slides in. Uh -huh. The face plate goes behind it and your bolts in the front so you have that 3d okay look in, oh, in, be, sick. in between it so it gives you the option of you know your powder coat whatever you want keep this polished look yeah or you know you can powder coat that and have two tones i like that because they do make i think a, a face plate on top of this if yeah you like to get it also that's awesome yeah, these are sweet so the traction bars when you buy them they do come raw they, so if you got to get it painted or powder coated whenever you buy that from them. I do need to disclose something. We are working with McGoy's. So some of the parts, we were able to get them raw instead of getting things already powder coated. So typically you would get your, get some of these components already powder coated black. But because we are working with McGoy's, they made an exception for us to get some stuff raw because we are going to get it powder coated. If you're watching this video and you order your lift kit, don't expect some of these parts to be raw. Uh, some of these parts are going to be powder coated. Oh yeah. Look at that. I mean, there's parts here. Here's what everybody probably wants to see. Man, look at that. The way it's packaged is stout. Yeah, it's very nice. There it is. There's a cross member. Oh, heck yeah. That's awesome. How about I do it? Would you rather face? I guess I'll get it all out this way and then we can shoot that way. Okay. I give you instructions too. Yeah. Color coded instructions. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's awesome. Step by step. Mm-hmm. Those are some good pictures too. I hope now that I took everything out the box, Juan knows he should though. Come And the control arms? Wow, they 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 redid the control arms. Look at that. Oh, these are stout. Oh, that's for the control arm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, 
Look at that. That is sweet. And they got it packaged good. That's nice. You want to pop one on there real quick? Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That That's is sweet. awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice detail. Now yeah. you don't have to worry about seeing any of that. And yeah, exactly. Do anything you want with it. They really stepped it up with this lift kit. This seven to nine inch lift kit from 2020. Way different than the previous generation. The, the attention to detail on this, they really stepped it up. Those are R1 rotors? R1. Dude, I need those. Those are sweet. I got a good deal on them. Cause I don't know, I feel like the brakes on the 2020s kind of suck. So if I go 40s, I definitely need that. Always lift kit unpackaged. JW. There you go. Buddy Chris is here to help. It's all laid out, getting a game plan for some powder coating. They couldn't send this to us raw because it was already powder coated. But some of the stuff here already comes powder coated. I think like the cross member and stuff like that would be powder coated black. That's just how it comes standard. But we were able to make a request. And like I said, because we are working with them on this project, they were able to send it to us raw. So they, they made an exception, which is super awesome for, for them to do. But I wouldn't really ask them to do that because it's just they just made a special exception for us. It's not something they can do every day. These control arms look really good. They do. They're huge. Yeah, they're big. They're huge. Mm -hmm. And they upgraded the ball joints with the boot. I like these better than the my my control arms that I had on the LML. The traction bars look awesome. Billet face plates look amazing too. That's going to look really sick with the co color combination that he's going to go with. And the knuckles got the McGoy's emblem on it too. We run into a little technical difficulty here. Update. Update. Mark's, uh, you got really bad luck. <laughs> you have really bad luck with truck parts. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, I think the cross member that we have is for 19 plus 1500. Because all the pictures that we've seen on their website, let's see. So the plates, those are right, but the, they don't match the, the cross member at all. So let me see if I can pull up a picture. See, even my Duramax, the cross member looks like this, which is not that. And then 2020 lifted looks identical to my old LML cross member. Also doesn't look like that. But if we look at a 2019 1500, bingo. Come on, I'm focus. There we go. That's what that cross member looks like. So we've come we've come to a conclusion that that's for a 1500 newer body style 1500 we contacted mcgoys we got to send them some pictures just to let them know that you know we got the wrong cross member so hopefully they send the replacement one asap all right so we have another update this cross member design matches the mcgoys truck 2020 mcgoys truck that we saw when we were in california Okay, I think the little chrome pieces are not right. They won't fit. And the McGoy's emblem on the front is too big. The holes don't line up. However, if you look at the design on this 2020 Duramax, it's not the same as that. So I remember Steve saying something about changing the design on the McGoy's cross member. So I'm wondering if this is their new design and we've been looking at the older ones to reference. And the one that they had at the shop, this truck, it, it is indeed their newer, um, I guess, official cross member for the 2020s. And maybe we just got the wrong face plates because these don't match at all. 
No, not at all. Yeah, this is definitely for the older. I think that's all the cross is. member. That's right? not gonna hurt me. It looks like it. I think that's where it's, uh, before I speak and say. Yeah, this don't fit either. Mm -hmm. The McGoy's cross member. It doesn't line up. So we come to a conclusion that Mark's McGoy's kit is going to be the first ever 2020 seven to nine inch kit with this design. They just set the wrong face plate. That's what it is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we are confirming with the owner of McGoy's to figure out if that's what it is. And uh, yeah, so once he gets everything back from the powder coating place, I'll come back here, maybe do another run through, and hopefully by then, he'll have his BCR wheels. So stay tuned for that. Before I head out, I'm gonna go ahead and park my truck next to Chris's, Elf, uh, Chris's LML Duramax, just to see the height difference. It kind of looks like you have me beat. I think you have me beat. I think you're taller. You can tell by a little bit. Is there a car coming? Uh oh, shoot. Of course there's a car. Yeah, the truck was washed yesterday and now after driving in the rain for about an hour and a half it's covered story of my life okay so here is the update on what happened with the lift kit so after i left mark actually got a phone call personally from steve mcgoy's which is freaking cool um Steve explained to us, I remember him telling us this when we were at the warehouse, that they changed changed up the design uh, after the official like production. So the pictures that we were seeing, those were pretty much like the prototypes, uh, which has the same cross member design as the previous 2500s, which explains why the cross member that I had on my LML matches those pictures from those SEMA trucks. The red L5P that was at the shop, which mimics the 1500 style cross member. The part that really confused us was the fact that the cross member and the plates didn't match. So we weren't sure if the cross member was wrong or if the plates were wrong. And we're so glad it was just the face plates that, were, that got mixed up. Those are the previous generation style face plates. So, Cross member does not have to get shipped. They're gonna expedite the shipping, so it should be here like in a couple days, which is, like I said, awesome. So yeah, that cleared up the confusion. So Mark's truck is going to be probably the very first McGoy's lift kit on a 2020 Duramax, probably in the Southeast, or it might even be on the East Coast in general. I'm just waiting for their 10 to 12 inch kit to release. I'm not in a rush to uh, change the lift kit out just yet. So I'm gonna keep talking to them and see if they're gonna release a 10 to 12 inch kit. And if they do, plan is to run that truck and possibly showcase it at SEMA. If you guys think that would be really cool, give this video a thumbs up. Let's do a like challenge. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Get this video to 3,000 likes. I'll do everything I can possibly do to convince McGoy's to do a 10 to 12 inch lift kit and uh, we'll have a SEMA truck. I'll document everything on what it takes to go to SEMA. The cool part is gonna be, if I go to SEMA, I got two other friends in Augusta that live 15, 20 minutes from me who are also going to be taking their vehicles to SEMA. So there's gonna be three of us taking vehicles to SEMA and Mark might possibly take his too. He's, he's in talks with a couple people which might give him a spot at SEMA. So we'll have four vehicles going to SEMA, which would be insane and great content. So get this video to 3,000 likes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.